Hello, we're in Stockholm, Switzerland, Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what country we're in anymore. I think we are still, technically. Oh, maybe not then. Just outside of Stockholm, Sweden. <laughs> but we're more in the sticks than the city. But like, it's so nice around here. It's just trees and lakes everywhere. Even on the train coming through, it's just multiple lakes, like huge lakes that we were passing by. But we're just going on a hike into the woods now. Possibly gonna go for a swim. I probably am if the water looks nice enough. Gonna go for a swim. Look at that, it looks really weird. Yeah, lichen just growing on the actual branches, living branches. So we did this bit in the dark yesterday. Yeah, it's really hard to work out where we were going. There's not much light around here at all, so... We had our torches on us, but it was just so dark and slippery. It was pissing down with rain as well. And we got a little bit lost for a while. It was like lost, but not like... Not oh, scary no, lost. lost. Yeah. It was just like, this wasn't the way we came. I kept slipping on all these rocks. It was so dodgy. It's just no sound at all. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just the soft patters of the rain. It's like when we were at the beach in uh, oh. that was, uh, Denmark. Yeah, Denmark. That was really like peaceful. Yeah. And like relaxing. Except you had sound of cars there in the distance. Here, there's nothing at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I was saying I really want to go in there, but only if it's clear. I don't want to like trudge for a load of sludge just to get in there um, but Sharma's saying there might be a little jetty somewhere along here where I can just jump in holy shit that's so nice that is stunning just chuck some mountains in the background and you've got a full on Bob Ross paint in there Oh my god, this is so cold. I instantly can't feel my leg. Oh shit. <laughs> that is the coldest water I've ever been in. <laughs> Your voice has gone so deep. <laughs> Holy shit. I mean, what did you expect really? I'm so glad I got that out of my system now. I've been craving that since we saw all the lakes on the train yesterday. Like if you haven't tried swimming in cold water, you should definitely try it. Like your body feels like it's buzzing after. So good. And like you'd think you'd feel like freezing cold and horrible like once you get out, but I almost feel warmer now because now I've got my clothes on than when we was just walking a minute ago. <laughs> I think it would be quite fun but yeah. not bothered. I think if I hadn't got in any water before, like, you know, we have at the lakes and stuff. Yeah. I really wanted to, I was like, no, I have to yeah. go to the lakes. Now because I've done it. <laughs> no, that's the thing, like, uh, when I see it, I'm like, I crave it. <laughs> Be careful, it's well slippery. <laughs> He's stuck now. No. I knew that had happened. <laughs> Surely animals must come by. Oh, there is a jetty and a ladder going in for swimming over there. Oh, yeah. I 
I've never heard a woodpecker do that. They usually do that really fast one. Is it a duck? It's either a pig or like some sort of um, water bird. Sounds quite far away still. I'm not sure if it's coming across on camera, but there's like a strange grunt in sound in the distance. And there's wild boar around here. So we're hoping to maybe see one and not get murdered by it. That bird's going mad. We didn't find any wild boar. <laughs> the sound's completely stopped as well. I feel like it's more. Well, we're well far away from it. Yeah, I feel like it's more over that side somewhere. Well, they can because it's bacteria that, um, from what I know, it's like bacteria inside it that it causes like heat to build up. But like inside, it'll be really hot. It happens with um, horse manure as well. Don't know if you can see, but it's like steaming and it smells really nice. It's just a load of wood chips. I suppose and a load of pine needles and stuff. We just spotted a random like doorway in the side of the cliff face. So you're just gonna see if it goes anywhere. Whoa. <laughs> That's a bit strange. It. Yeah, it looked a lot more interesting from over there. I thought it was actually going to go I had a through. It might go somewhere. Yeah. That is strange. Do you reckon it's been filled in and it did go down to something? Yeah, I don't know. Boring. Boring. We're heading to a castle a little bit further out from where we're staying and maybe going to hitchhike back we're now. <laughs> because we've done it once for like five minutes yeah. <laughs> yeah but it was like three three tries on yeah the third one, we got a lift. No, it is pretty good going i feel like like as far as hitchhiking goes that was really quick. Well, I mean, I don't know anyone that's hitchhiked, so <laughs> I can't say. And it was dark, Yeah. so like for the person driving, picking up two... Two people, he was yeah. on his own, yeah, exactly. Like, you always think it, like it's a risk of the person who's being picked up, but like... It's a risk on both ends. Yeah, yeah. So, we noticed this cabin yesterday and I walk up to our Airbnb and it's all boarded up so we want to have a look but we're not actually sure how to get over there because that's just a drop there's there there's a bridge so oh. there's a river so maybe they used to be a way down oh, oh wow damn it's pretty grand the abandoned one was better in uh, Slovakia. Oh, yeah. Maybe because it's abandoned, it's more fun. <laughs> yeah. I like these old signs, like the, like the pub signs. <laughs> Oh, stairs. wonder if we can go up. Whoa. Why are the benches always so weird in Europe? Like, they've either got a huge, like, back bit missing or there's just one plank to sit on. They're really strange. 
it'd be nice to get like a kayak and just uh row the whole way along like them these things make me feel uneasy i said it before like it's just a, a wall on top of the building do you know what i mean it doesn't like connect all the way around i just feel like they're not very safe <laughs> But I mean, it's been standing since 1630, so... Yeah. Look at the lichen. How tough. That's a sign. Of what? That's a lichen subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> we think we know the way to the abandoned uh, little building as well. Oh, that's been right behind my neck. We think we've found the way along the other side of the road. Oh, a rick rickety old bridge. A well. Oh. I mean, it looks pretty abandoned. And that looks pretty fresh. Is that an axe? Where? Oh. That's, a bit scary. That's really weird. There's an axe. Looks like it. It's for this thing. This feels really eerie. It's very strange. Yeah, I know. I think it's just the style of building. It just makes it really creepy. <laughs> what this? <laughs> it's definitely bigger than Millennium Mills. Wooden like cabins just feel so creepy. Oh, oh, oh. it's very cute but very creepy at the same time. Yeah, and the like yeah, and the boards, the way they've like boarded it up on the door. It has weird vibes. Yeah, it's, it's like, like um, it's like zombie apocalypse sort of uh, bodge job. It's been really nice here, very scenic. But, uh, hope you enjoyed and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Subscribe if you want more.